hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i am going to share you a simple code uh, to read uh, a csv file using uh, php okay and show them in uh, your php page so i have my exam server installed in my pc so inside this st docs i have uh, uh, the index.php where i write my php codes okay so i am going to read uh, this uh, csv file all printers dot csv where there is uh, three columns here uh, first column is serial number and model and uh, the status okay so now uh, it's saved as uh, in csv uh, this is actually a comma separated value so if you uh, try to open this in uh, in uh, a notepad you can see the values are comma separated values here it is okay so now we are going to read this uh, using uh, the php code so I have my exam server here so let me start my server here and have uh, the index.php already written the code to read that I will explain how it works okay so first we are uh, just uh, uh, creating uh, a table so uh, the read data will exactly look as uh, the excel in the page also so we have uh, declaring a variable as start row one and using this f open uh, function we are uh, opening that uh, file here okay so we are uh, using uh, the f get csv we are using uh, the csv file to read all the files and uh, we have set the limit uh, this is the file uh, path and this is the limit of uh, uh, the uh, lines which we are how many lines we are reading in the csv and uh, the, this is the separator here okay so first we are getting the count of uh, the columns in uh, the file here so it should come uh, actually we have three columns here so it will take it as column here so on each uh, iteration it is creating a new uh, row here and here it is just iterating uh, the columns here one by one okay that's it and uh, this is dynamic uh, it can take any columns i will show you that so now let's try to open the localhost uh, page here you can see uh, the uh, the csv file is read as this exactly what it looked like uh, in uh, the csv file which we have uh, read you can see here so you can see the first this is the model number and uh, next is the status okay now i'm just trying to expand uh, this uh, uh, this much of uh, columns right next to it and see how it's uh, reading the file okay so i'm just uh, pasting everything here copying this first from here and pasting it again here okay and now just save it now you can see uh, if I'm just reopening that you can see I have just increased the count of uh, the columns here okay now I'm just uh, refreshing it here you can see it will take automatically uh, how much uh, column is there uh, it will read automatically the count of column here and it will iterate to give all the columns in the page okay and now I have an excel file here same as uh, uh, the file which we have read so this is an excel file so what you have to do is to read this uh, with our code just convert into a csv file like this there is will be csv format will be there in your uh, uh, excel file just save it as csv format and now you can see here this is a csv file okay i'm going to read this just uh, copy this uh, name and paste it here okay and just save it and let's go to our page and refresh, refresh it you can see it has read all, uh, the csv uh, page and it is showing exactly what the content here in the csv file okay so hope you got this uh, i will share uh, this uh, source code in my description you can have it and in my next video i'll show you how you can insert uh, uh, this uh, data into a uh, mysql table okay thanks for watching